Ini Wow, this feels good. Hey, Jamie here from NZ Mountain Biking, and today I am going to be riding Tiaringa, which is between, well, it's just off the Napier Topor Road, just east of Topor. Uh, should be a goodie. It's midwinter, middle of June. Um, just had a couple of days off during the week, so heading on in, going for the solar mish, gonna stay at Omru Hut. So, uh, yeah, come along for the ride. <music> So this is a pretty classic backcountry ride. It's one of the few um, that I pretty well maintained. And this is my first time doing it on an e-bike. Did it a few years ago on the um, normal bike with a couple of days worth of stuff. And we had pack raft, so we pack raft out the Mohaka from Omuru Hut, which was pretty fun. But this first slog up to the top of Te Ringa was exactly that, the slog. So, see how she goes on the Ebe. So this, my bike's a Marin Alpine Trail E2. It's got a 630 watt hour battery. Um, see how it goes. It's good to be out here though. This was about a two hour drive from Rotorua. Um, good driving the whole way. About 15 minutes on a gravel road at the end or 10 minutes. So you're at the trailhead. And I'm heading in for the 20 k's to Omuru Hut. So we go up and over the side of Te Ringa, down the other side, which is really, really classic. Um, so it's all red beach in here. And then the last few k's is just along the river trail to the hut. The plan is to stay there the night. There are a couple of cars in the car park, so who knows if there'll be people there. I've got my bright pack cover on, so no one mistakes me for a deer. Pretty popular hunting up in here. So I'm yet to hear of a mountain bike who gets confused for a deer in New Zealand. I'd like to not be the first. This trail's grade four, four five. It's a couple of portages where there's some creeks that have kind of washed out some gullies. Um, I'm by myself too, so I'll be taking it super easy. There's a pretty good um, description of the gear that I take, and uh, in it's in the description. The description's in the description, but there'll be a link to the blog. And um, yeah, you gotta find this video and some post thoughts. Other than that, enjoy the ride. I there might be a little bit of this carrying portage. <clears throat>
that slipper gonna hit? Reach my limit. Good they warmed up. It's about 10 degrees when I left the car. Ooh. Tight. Tight switchbacks, that's for sure. Good. Oh. Definitely gaining some height. This is nice. It's like trials riding. Oh, this is good. Quite a few big steps like that from the water. It's getting real hung up before. Pretty sure we're getting pretty close to the old Tearinga hut site. But Tearinga is actually the peak that is just to our right. We're going to go um, around the eastern shoulder. So pretty in here though. I'm good though, we're only like half an hour in. Oi. We, I'd say, us, <laughs> you and I. Amongst e bikers called range anxiety. And I gotta say, this is my first time doing this ride on the Ebe, and I don't know many people who have. Um, and so, what I wanna do is make sure that my battery gets me back 
to the car. So I've got 20 k's to go today, or 19 points I think, and I've actually got the biggest hill tomorrow. So on my way back out, this is an out and back, and uh, I'll be climbing back up to Te Aringa. And so I'm hoping that I have plenty of battery to make it through that so that I can save my energy for any portaging that I might have to do because these things are heavy all the pumice is from the Taupo eruption 2000 years ago I don't know if I'm going to make it up that one <laughs> oh, water carves it out pretty good We're getting close to the saddle. I'm one battery down. I've been using a mix of all three power levels, mostly trail. And over that way is an opening into the Kaimanawas. A little soft, soft under tyre. Bloody lovely day though, good riding. Definitely an adventure ride, it's been a bit of walk mode engaged. A little bit of lifty carry over a couple of quite large steps. But there's also been a lot of riding too. I feel like making really good time. But there is no rush at all. So I might as well chat about some of the gear that I've got with me. I've got, first and foremost, a cell phone in my pocket. Knee pads, gloves, glasses, um, and then another pretty crucial piece of piece of kit that I got with me is my inReach, which is it's like an EPIRB or a personal locator beacon, but you can send and receive messages, which is quite nice. I got the Garmin inReach Mini, which is about the size of a matchbox, but could save your life if you got into strife. So being by myself, I definitely wanted to have that. I've got a little first aid kit that's mainly to help if I start bleeding. Um, but also with a um, couple of pills, some paracetamol and some ibuprofen, in case I take a little bit of a crash. And then I've got food, a dehydrated dinner and breakfast and some extra oats, just in case I'm starving. It's gonna be cold tonight. Got my big winter weight sleeping bag and then just a change of my base layer so I've just got something spare long johns long sleeve merino top and undies and socks and of course my rain jacket that's pretty much it trying to go light toothbrush, tools some um a spare derailleur cable, a quick link, a multi-tool with a chain breaker on it, a spare tube, um, a couple CO2 canisters with one of those little doodackies, and a pump, and a repair kit, a puncture repair kit. Because I've got my tube strapped to my bike and it's quite likely I could put a hole in it. Or I've been with people and they put multiple holes in, in their tube while trying to fix a flat. Also got some tyre plugs, um, which came super in handy in the Richmond Ranges, but I don't think I'd be using them here because there's hardly any rocks. Oh, love it, a little descent. This is what we came here for. 
can see quite a bit of tree fall, so I kind of have to ride this as if I'm the first one down it. And I'm always quite nervous of my derailleur. I don't know if I need to be, but I am. Sweet. This is what you come here for. Glorious little beach. Beach leaf litter. So apparently if I carry on going the way that I am, I've got 87 k's. I don't believe it though. All right, and here is the old hut site for Te Aringa. Not bad, good little campsite. I ain't stopping here though. Having too much fun. So I've got a little bit more climbing, one, two, three, about four, four contours or so. And then I bust off the side of Te Aringa. Nice, 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 nice. Pretty steep, techy, couple of rocks. Bit of boost assist. Bit of seat a little bit lower. Pretty good. Nice breeze up here. view. Don't know if you can see that but pretty cool. So the Napier Topo Road is that way. I'm going to that next valley over that way. Yeah. And soon if I remember correctly there's a little portage coming up which is quite a rocky gut where you kind of rock climb with your bike. Like it ain't no thing. I'll be taking it very easy. Pretty good. That's far. I haven't seen anyone yet either. So here we go, here's one of the rocky guts. This is not the one that I was thinking of though, but I'm still gonna get off for this one. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Nice. Were you at the hut last night? Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. Many other people up in here? Uh, there's a couple hunters or three guys that were in the hut last night. Okay. They're all there for a few days. Sweet. Do they fly in? Yeah. 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 They fly in, yeah. <laughs> um, I think one of them hunts in. Yeah. And then there's another couple that are camped by the river that's like this side of the spring bridge. Yep. 
Yeah, sweet. Just before the hill. Quiet. Uh, I'll go to the hut. Yeah, I've definitely walked some bits. Sweet, all right, have fun. Go down there. Walk mode engage. Here we go. I learned a pretty valuable lesson in the Richmond Ranges actually. Climbing the big exposed edge there. And I was very close to going down. Would not have been fun. A little trick, changing gears while you're in walk mode. Back into the game. the old pedal strikes. Some more walkie walkie, just conservative by myself. It doesn't scream to rally eating, I don't know what does. <coughs> yes, and this is the other rocky gut that I was thinking of. That tree's disguised it a little bit. It's a little slippery. Smooth, got it. Ah, good. <laughs> Run the gauntlet there. Hoping the derailleur hangs on. This is, yeah, solo, no thank you. Pretty sure when we went pack crafting, this one went though. I said that there were some trees to watch out for. <laughs> so, I'm 
the line. I'll take my time. Oh, so good. Little chunky. Oh, geez, another little rocky gut. Maybe this is. Oh, I'm confused. I'm all over the show. I feel like this is um, the last of them. Okay, good to go. Bush lawyer, don't want that to grab onto me. Bush lawyer is like a little blackberry bush, super sharp, like kitten claws. I remember I'm so low. <laughs> Oh yeah. A little ducky duck action. Beauty. Man, that's a good view. I'm gonna have to stop for that one. Sorry to rally up, getting a hard time. Well, it still works. Oh, this is good. Oh yeah, it goes. Whee! Oh. Man, it's good. So narrow. Oh, she's a bit breezy. It's cold. Feels like winter. Man, I love these glasses. Man, of times I've had friends whip me in the face. No problem. Oh, it's not me today. <laughs> so much bush there too. Imagine catching man the eyeball.
Jovi heat. I do like how an Eve kind of flattens those little climbs out. So you can keep your flow. What have we got down here? Tight. Sharp. Awesome. <laughs> Wrong gear again. Crunchy crunch. And again, solo. Oh yeah, we're good. We golden. Don't need to be in boost. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what we've all come for. The beachy beach. Nose pivot, yeah boy. <gasps> Thing's definitely got some weight behind it though. Oh, yes. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm pretty sure I follow this ridge now all the way down to Hill Creek where there's a steep, steep bit just before the creek and then um, a swing bridge. Whoa. Dreamy though. <laughs> it says not for me. Walk that any day for that last section though. Another thing to keep in mind is behind every fern could be hidden a little nub. To take a foot out or a handlebar or I've had that happen before out in the Fidanaki. Something was in a, in a fern and it grabbed my bar and it threw me. Oh yes. Roots pretty slick. Yeah, now we're really in the depths of Kaimano Forest Park. It's bloody beautiful. Tight. Get that in there. Nice. This is about bike preservation as much as it is about self preservation. I think I'll leave that for someone else as well. I'm on the good side. Oh, good. Love it, I'm a native. When I was a bit younger, I spent five years doing guided walks around Lake Waikato Moana for another company called Walking Legends. Kind of the start of my guiding career, really. That was back in 2008 or 9, just after my first trip to the States. What? When all I did was white water kayak. 
Now I'm just a washed up kiker. All I like to do is ride my bike. A little less stressful. You still get to explore places like this. Oh, yes. oh, this beach park is so good. They run raves out of it because it's got this like unique grip. Real loamy the leaves are, but they're not too big. But, uh, um, super slippery. But there's still a real fun release point. But it still feels like you've got heaps of control. And when you're following people, which unfortunately, unfortunately today I don't have any friends, when you're following people, it's so cool because you just get this roost of beach leaves. Oh, good! Oh, that was fun. Not super ticky. Climbs have definitely been super ticky. So flowy. <laughs> I think that ridge there is that one. Beautiful. how good this is. Look at that. Beautiful. Yes. Woo. But I remember not to throw my wheel into me. Bloody derailleur. Bloody derailleur. Oh. Sneaky little stumpy stump. Fire, this feels good. I've barely even seen another tire mark on here. Such good neck. Oh, <laughs> having the bloody time of my life. Oh. <laughs> Sick. Man, these beech trees are cool. These are all big red beech trees. Five different types of beech in New Zealand. These are the biggest. Red, hard, silver, black, mountain. I could carry it on there, but this is definitely the trail. Oh yeah, I see, I see. Switchy backs. Pivot on. Definitely feel like we're closer to the valley floor now. Oh, I can't make it under that one. <laughs> okay, I've been practicing with pivots on the road. Coming in handy. Even on the beast. Oh, I think that's the end of the flow flow. Now it's just traverses. Seems to be getting a bit steeper. You can hear a creek. Oh! <laughs> Fire out. Lovely. First trail is not one that we can guide. Um, couldn't get a concession for this one. I don't think anyone can, but 
I highly recommend if you're it's a pretty solid grade four or five rider. Come check it out. Bring a mechanic with you just in case. Mechanic, medic, comms. Oh. <laughs> and have a blast. Oh, there you go. Why don't I come here more? Yeah, so much fun. And to me, it feels like I'm about to drop down into the creek. Ooh, hoo, hoo. tight. Gotta remember I'm by myself. Ooh. Brakes are probably quite warm. It's quite steep. Remember the steepest bits yet to come is the creek. Watch out for the derailleur. Far out, this is good. Battery's still at, what's that, 80? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that by myself. Battery is still at four, four bars. It's hard to walk. So this definitely goes. I think I rode some of it, not all of it. Pretty, uh, pretty steep. And some people camping down here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to come on rides like this, buddy, check out our website. G'day. How's it going? Yeah, it was. Wow, did you see me walk the first couple switchbacks? <laughs> <laughs> they are a bit steep. Oh, oh. Skinny challenge. This last about seven or eight k's, it's just along the edge of the river. So, start on this side, soon I'm going to cross the swing bridge and then Follow the other side of the stream all the way to the next big valley, which is where the head of the Mohaka is. But this is still pretty, pretty techy. Um, and I'm of the opinion that it's only really worth it if you've got a bundle of energy or you are staying at the hut. Because there's a lot of this up and down going on which is very tiring but it would be nice to get to the hut and have a nice sunset there bloody lovely oh too easy of gear tricky Alright, so got a little further away from the stream than, I, than it felt like, but now we head back towards the stream. <clears throat> and the little switchbacks. Oh, tight. These are a little bit more mellow than those last ones. Holy, they were steep. Mad exposure. Here's our little swing bridge. It's a bit interesting. 
This is never easy. Yep. It's quite nice. <clears throat> Back in the game. Quite a few bogs like this one. Just don't know how deep it's going to be. <laughs> Just over the shoes. Not bad, not bad. I love being in the mountains. The water is the best. the line. That's the bugger. Yes. Whoa. No thank you. <laughs> no thank you. Tight. Look at this little tunnel. Back of the creek. trees down and it's cool so much moss it's so wet bloody beautiful uh, I think I'm in the last couple of k's towards the hut 17.3 and I had about 18 or 19 to get there so I think I can see the end of the valley now where it opens up into the Mohaka! Pretty janky. Oh, don't know if I'll make that. Holy moly. Back up the other side. Right on. A section of windfall. These ones don't feel so exposed though. Still pretty long way down. Oh, that's pretty nice. It's nice to get these little downs because other than that, this river bit is pretty flat, pretty monotonous. Beautiful, beautiful. Don't get me wrong. But uh definitely feels like a little trail. Some really cool side streams though. Beautiful little waterfalls and rock slabs. Heaps of moss. <sighs> Stream crossing game now. Actually, pretty fun. I changed my tune from before. Some pretty fun skinnies, but I don't trust a single bog. 
I went into one before that was well over my front axle. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wasn't filming. It's starting to get lighter. Maybe it's because I'm climbing up out of the valley a little bit. Made it here before sunset, which is a bit of nice. That's correct. This is the last one, and there's the chimney for the hut. So, have to come check this place out again. Pretty nice. Just made it to the hut. <sighs> last little climb. Not even that bad. And the time now is 10 to 4. Just over an hour and a 10 minutes.